I know what you're thinking. Hey, Curry, we missed you today on the live show. Hey, Curry, where's the stream? Don't worry, guys. I'm back with six prize picks plays for tonight's NBA games for you to consider right here on prize picks. If you're not playing on prize picks yet, use code Curry. Make that first deposit. You'll get a 100% deposit match all the way up to $100, making your first entry on prize picks completely risk free. I've left the link down in the description of today's video. Go get it right now sign up for prize picks use my code they're giving away free money y'all who don't like free money holla if you hear me all right yesterday we had a fantastic day in our private discord those of you who are patreon members you know what i'm talking about and those of you who aren't let me pull back the curtain for you for just a second right here in discord you can see that we had a fantastic night i posted a total of 10 picks seven of which ended up hitting that brings our record for the last two days to 13 and 4. we've been balling y'all we've been balling we hit on mitchell robinson over rebounds kyle lowry under on points gabe vinson under points and assists we also hit on Kyle Lowry under points, rebounds, and assists. Draymond Green over points, rebounds, and assists. Draymond Green over rebounds. And we hit on Anthony Davis under points because Anthony Davis got a little woozy in the head and couldn't continue last night's game. But they do say that Anthony Davis is expected to be back for the next game. So if you want to be a part of Patreon, if you want even more picks than what I offer through YouTube, guys, support the channel, support free content. Go down to the description of today's video, get signed up for Patreon. It's only 20 bucks a month, about 66, 67 cents per day, less than a cup of coffee. All right. And we're giving out winning picks each and every day in prize <laughs> in Discord, I should say, in Patreon. So I appreciate everybody who's deciding to uh, join me on Patreon. We had a lot of new members join up yesterday. All right, so what are we thinking for today's NBA slate? Well, let's go take a look at what we've got to look forward to first and foremost here. We'll try to keep this as brief as possible. Boston at Philadelphia tips off at 7.30 p.m. It's a 212 and a half point total with a two and a half point spread. Joel Embiid is listed as a game time decision, but I expect the process to give it a go. He's questionable dealing with the knee injury. He's appeared in four straight games after missing back-to-back -back contests due to this very same knee injury. But again, I expect Joel Embiid to be out there and ready to go. Not really a concern for me. All right, so uh, outside of that, no other injuries to look forward to. Kind of a low scoring game at 212.5, but it is expected to be a close and competitive one. So uh, hopefully it goes all four quarters and we don't have any more blowouts because blowouts are the bane of our betting existence. Checking in on this next game, 10 o'clock tip off between the Denver Nuggets and Phoenix Suns. There's a couple of pieces of injury news here that we need to be mindful of, starting with Jamal Murray, the uh, star point guard for the Denver Nuggets. He's currently listed as questionable uh, versus the Sun due to a non-COVID illness. Uh, Murray's late addition to the injury report is a bad sign of his availability on Thursday. The Nuggets will likely assess how the star guard is feeling in pregame warm-ups and make a game-time decision if Murray can't play. Bruce Brown, Christian Brown, and Reggie Jackson are candidates to receive increased minutes. So interesting development here. Uh, Jamal Murray may not play tonight. Keep an eye on that news. Chris Paul for the Phoenix Suns is out. He's going to continue to be out again tonight. DeAndre Ayton is listed as a game time decision. His status is currently up in the air. He's dealing with a rib contusion. Took a little shot to the old rib bone. Uh, so it looks like he's questionable. Not sure if he's going to play or not. So definitely stay on top of the news as we get closer and closer to tip off. So now that we know what to expect for tonight's games, let's get into today's picks. Of course, we're looking at prize picks today, gang. We're looking for plus EV plays that are projecting well, not on one model, not on two models, but if we could get three models and sweep, those are the types of picks we're looking for. So let's get it started here with Bruce Brown. Now, Bruce Brown is at 10 and a half points. I probably would not take the under on Bruce Brown uh, um, if uh, Jamal Murray is out. If Jamal Murray is in, I would feel okay about taking the under on Bruce Brown. Let me show you why the under looks like the way to go here on Brucey B. So we head over here to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer. Guys, if you're not using this tool yet on prize picks, you should be. It's a game changer. It's the bomb diggity. Uh, definitely check it out. I've left a link for you down in the description of today's video. So uh, it looks like they pulled... Maybe they pulled the Denver Nuggets from the board. Let me refresh this thing here. What's going on? Let's refresh. Bruce 
Brown? No, nothing, nothing for Bruce Brown? Well, all right, well, I can tell you this. He's still up on the prize picks board as of the recording of this video. He was a plus EV play to go under 10 and a half points, but I think this Jamal Murray news might have shaken some things up here. Let's go run some projections on Bruce Brown. Again, this is a wait and see play for me. If Jamal Murray is in, I'm okay with taking the under here. If Jamal Murray is out, well, then I guess Bruce Brown would probably be an overplay, but he's at 8.8 .8 points. Uh, on the first projection. Second projection has Brown at 9.42 points on a line of 10.5. And then the third and final projection for Bruce Brown, we got him at nine and a half as well. So again, if Jamal Murray is in, Bruce Brown would be an underplay for me at 10.5 points here on prize picks. We'll keep looking though. Derek White's the next guy, one and a half, three point makes. Let's go back to the optimizer here. We'll punch in Derek White's name. And you can see that he is a plus EV play to go over one and a half three point makes. They give him about a 53% chance to hit the over on this prop. So what it does here, the optimizer, it goes out to all the sports books. It pulls the lines in. It gives you true odds, in this case, a minus 130 betting favor to go over one and a half three point makes. So we know that the odds are in our favor. This is definitely a plus EV play. So let's move forward here, get some projections on Derek White and these three-point makes. Again, you don't have to take all these picks. Maybe only like one or two or three of them from today's video. That's fine. Don't feel pressure to take them all. I totally get it. 1.6 is the first projection for White, so definitely over 1.5, but just a smidge. Second projection here, 1.63. Again, just a little bit over that 1.5 marker. And then according to Number Fire, they've got Derek White up at 1.6 three-point makes as well. So you got three out of three sites that have them closer to two threes than one three. So I think that Derek White for more than one and a half three-point makes should be on your radar tonight. Moving it along here, Derek White's backcourt mate. This guy's coming off the bench. Malcolm Brogdon, 17 and a half points and assists. Brogdon didn't have that great of a game in the last game. Maybe tonight he bounces back playing in Philadelphia. So at 17.5, let's go check some plus EV options for Brogdon. First and foremost, the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer says, yes, this is a plus EV play, and it's a plus EV play for the over. So we should be thinking about 18 or more points and assists for Malcolm Brogdon. 52.7% chance that he goes over this line after having, like I said, kind of a down game in that last game. So let's go check some projections here. First one is at 18.7 on a line of 17.5. Second one, uh, points and assists, 19.1 on a line of 17.5. So that's looking real nice. And then the third and final projection from Malcolm Brogdon, we got him at 13.6 points, gang. Busting out the calculator here. No shame in my game. Plus another four and a half for the dimes. Brings him up to 18.1. So yes, the over or more on Malcolm Brogdon at 17.5 points and assists is definitely a plus EV play that's projecting well across three different models. So there's your first three picks. Are you liking what I'm doing? Let YouTube know, let me know by hitting the like button. Let's go for over, I don't know, 200 likes today. Over 200 likes, I think we could get it done. I appreciate all your support. And if you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button now. Ring that bell so that you're notified anytime I drop new content here, which I do almost daily, okay? Don't miss out. Subscribe, ring the bell, hit the like button for your boy. All right, moving on here. James Harden going against the Boston Celtics. He's at 8.5 assists today. Back to the Daily Grind Fantasy Optimizer we go. We're just buzzing through these guys, buzzing through them. Uh, Harden sitting at 8.5 assists. You got about a 52% chance that he goes over, making this a plus EV play for more than 8.5. So let's go see if we got some projections that jive with the over on 8.5. The first one says 8.9. That sounds like closer to nine than eight to me. I'm okay with that. Second projection for James Harden. We've got him at eight and a half on the line. 9.4 on the projection. Again, that's another over. And uh, let's make it a trifecta. You betcha. 9.3 assists on the third and final projection on number fire, putting him over that 8.5 threshold. So we're going to take more on the beard and keep looking for more picks. Marcus Smart. Points and assist, 18.5. We've already seen one Boston Celtic for the point and assist prop. That was Malcolm Brogdon. We liked him for the over. Let's take a look at Marcus Smart. Maybe we'll go in the other direction 
maybe that will be a smart play. See what I did there? See what I did there? Marcus Smart sitting at 18.5 points and assists. The Opti says take the under here, folks. 52% chance that Smart stays under 19 points and assists. If he gets 19, we're screwed. So we're hoping for 18 or less on Marcus Smart. Let's go run these projections up real quick. And while I'm doing that, you guys run the likes up. Run the likes up. Marcus Smart's at 18 points and assists right here, 18.1 to be exact. So that's going to be less than his line today on prize picks. Checking his second projection out, 18.5. we got a big under here, 16.61, making this a very good look so far. Two out of two on the projection models. And of course, we're going to run it back one more time, looking at a third projection for Smart. Just 11.3 points on the projection, plus another 5.3 dimes, puts him at 16.6. .6. So this is looking like a very favorable, less option. Which brings us to our final play of today's video, Contavious Caldwell-Pope at 12.5 points and rebounds. Now, last game with Jamal Murray in, I took the over, but today, as of right now, 3.37 p.m. Eastern time, the optimizer was saying, take the under on Contavious Caldwell Pope. Let's see if he's up here on the optimizer. They might have pulled him off. Uh, no, they still got his lines up. Okay, so as of right now, 12 and a half uh, points and rebounds. He is an underplay. 51.4% chance of going under 12 and a half points and rebounds. I don't know why we couldn't find Bruce Brown. But nonetheless, Contavious Caldwell Pope right now is an under. Again, if Jamal Murray is out, probably don't want to play the under on this. I would back off of this. So this is a wait and see type of pick. Let's go see about the projections for our guy Contavious Caldwell Pope. First projection has him at 11.9. That's obviously less than 12.5. If he gets 13 points and rebounds tonight, again, that sinks our battleship. We're hoping for less than that. Uh, second projection, 12.5 is the line. 12.56 is the projection. We'll just call it 12.5. So we'll call this one a tie. We got to take it to a third and final projection. Maybe this will clear things up. Maybe this will sway us one way or the other. 9.3 points plus another 3.2 for the boards. Puts them at exactly 12.5. Did us no favors there. So we'll say two of the models had him at exactly 12.5. One of them being Fantasy Labs has him at 11.9, which is an under. So for me right now, as of this time, uh, he would be an underplay for me. So there you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six picks. Now all you got to do is decide how much you're going to put in. Uh, for me, flex plays, I usually put 10 to 20 bucks. I don't go super crazy. Hitting six out of six is very difficult. Very difficult. I don't think I need to tell you that. So if you wanted to make this a two-pick power play with your favorite two picks of the six we discussed, have at it. By all means, go crazy. It's your entry. It's your world. I just appreciate all of you joining me. Guys, if you like what I do here, subscribe, like, and join me in the next video by having those notifications turned on so that you're alerted when that next one drops. Appreciate you guys. Good luck tonight, and I'll see you Patreon members inside Discord. Peace.